Hi, I am at Facebook Studio and we are doing a fireside chat with Ms. Archana Kocher, a renowned designer and someone who not only works with actors like Shah Rukh Khan and Kareena Kapoor, but also with rural women in Maharashtra and Jharkhand and economically empowers them with skills trainings. So Archana, as you must know, UNDP's Disha Project and Facebook have partnered for a campaign called Bridge the Gap, which will give us an opportunity to reflect on what organizations and how business leaders can empower women economically and hence bridge the gap. So tell me, how did the whole idea of empowering women in Jharkhand and Maharashtra come to you? Um, so a couple of years back, um, I had a friend of mine who uh, was from Jharkhand and she introduced me to this group of weavers, women, who um, were looking at, um, you know, um, getting better at their work uh, they were not being able to make their ends meet so i uh, met them and we uh, got together and we produced um, you know they produced this amazing fabric and we made a fabric without killing a single silk worm and called it ahimsa silk uh, so i remember when i was making uh, the collection with them so that time their earnings were about 5000 rupees a month and they were fine and their dream was uh, very simple hame hamare bachon ke liye doodh chahiye and simple things you know which they wanted to do mm -hmm. And as luck would have it, um, we were invited to showcase at the New York Fashion Week that year itself. Um, and I uh, made a collection from their fabric and we launched it there and we got an amazing response and we got covered in a lot of media houses and automatically the fabric started selling better and um, the earnings started increasing and uh, this entire group of women weavers was very happy. Um, so we um, actually, uh, when we began with them, their earnings were 5,000 and then we managed to get it to about 8,000. Um, also, at that time, I had a lot of my um, friends, celebrity friends from the industry who um, I told them the story of these weavers and I told them how I was trying to help them and they were very happy to wear their clothes in some of the biggest events and that helped promote their fabric to the next level. So it was very enriching and um, I realized that at, through that whole endeavor that, um, you know, I can create magic by just sharing my platform with people. So as you know, 21st century brought about significant changes in the status of women. A number of initiatives started by the government of India, by uh, social enterprises, by INGOs, uh, helped to bridge the gap in the society. Yet, we still have a very long way to go. What do you think can be done for India to achieve the SDGs, accelerate the progress towards it, and also achieve gender equality? we can we can start bigger mentorship programs i think that really changes um you know and it um, because what people uh, what a lot of these tribal people uh, women need what i have figured is they just need a hand uh, which can hold and take them to the next step once they've reached the next step then they can fly on their own so um you know like um even undp you all have done this amazing um disha program for the last four to five years and and you know it has had amazing results i've read it and it's it's you've touched so many people's life and created magic in their lives yes. so when um you know a lot of us say um that um, ye hona chahiye, um a lot of us sometimes have pity over things ki, are bichare, aise nahi hona chahiye. but i think a lot of uh, we need to stop that and we need to take a step forward and become active members and become a part of the idea so, so I think that probably would may bring in a lot of change. Absolutely agree with you there, Archana. So um, my another question for you is that uh, women from rural areas, indigenous and uh, grassroots are custodians of traditional knowledge, which is important for uh, the community's livelihoods for their income. As an entrepreneur, uh, do you think business leaders can contribute to inclusive and economic, economic growth? And how can they do this? Um, so uh, the business leaders can uh, do their economic growth. Yeah, so how can they promote and help uh, preserve the traditional art forms, you know, the traditional livelihoods and uh, contribute to India's economic uh, growth story? So I story. think they're really talented. So, you know, um, a lot of us mistake that we need to teach them talent, but we don't need to teach them talent at all. I've been working with the tribes in Maharashtra. I've done, I've worked with a lot of tribes in the last few years, Banjara tribes. So uh, when you start working with them, you realize that they're so good and they're so creative. All they need is a direction. And that is what we can give them. So times have changed and we um, know the change. So uh, the same art form can be done in a different way, like a, a woven sari with maybe a story to it through a weave is so beautiful. We all love it. So there's so many ideas in which like uh, embroideries or artwork, like wildly paintings, but on silhouettes that we wear today. Right. 
um, you know, so there's just that slight change use needs to come in. And I think it's people uh, like me and many others like me who can just help them do that slight change. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. So uh, India's labor force participation is 30.8% right now. And women spend 297 minutes a day on unpaid care work. How do you think can we end the unpaid care work in India? What can be the solution to this problem? So the biggest thing is that the women need to realize that they need to bring up their sons right. It's not about empowering the, the, only their daughters or saying that you know, they have to bring up their sons right. The problem is the sons are brought up in such a way that um, they um, think that uh, uh, the woman is just supposed to do all the care work. It's never their work. Um, so the woman has to bring up the child also and the woman has to run the house also and she has to make sure the right meals are there at the table also, especially in a lot of Asian countries, Indian I mean, in all, our, you know, it's it just the woman's work. So if we start bringing up our sons right, automatically the care work will start reducing. That is one part of it for the future. But presently, what needs to be done is while the women are still taking care at home is that we need to. Uh, so I'm working with, uh, let me share with you, I'm working with these girls in Maharashtra. Now what we're doing is these girls are making bags. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of campaigns now about not using uh, plastic. And, um, uh, you know, so we need a lot of cloth bags. Um, so I have got cloth uh, together for them and I've given it to them and they're making these bags at home. Um, and we are working on various platforms to actually sell these bags and I'm very confident they'll sell well. And I'm helping them make these amazing gift wraps, uh, you know, gift wrapping solutions. Now the whole trick in it is to sell it. We've reached um, the space where I've got the fabrics and the raw materials. We've reached the space where we've taught these girls and they're working out of their homes. Now we just have to get the last space right and then they can work out of their homes. So just like this idea of mine, there are many ideas that these women can work out of their homes so they can you know in their free time uh, like even these women weavers that I'm talking to you about uh, about Ajharkan so they um, had flexible timings um, and a lot of them would weave at home so what would happen is once they were done with their care uh, work they would just sit down and do this and uh, they could earn so they could uh, given uh, their timings as per what was convenient. Gives them the flexibility. Yeah. So yeah. there is a lot of things that women can do, create, especially in our creative line. Um, and uh, we just have to make sure that they're educated about the schemes and just hand-holding. So Archana, as we come towards the end of this chat, I'd uh, really like to ask you, what is uh, your message You know, for so many young girls and uh, women in rural areas? I mean, how, how can you inspire them? What would you like to tell them? Um, so my message to them would primarily be find a mentor. Um, you know, it's very important uh, to have that somebody um, to take you to the next uh, step. Sometimes sub journeys khud akele nahi hoti hain. Um, you know, and um, as they say, you know, uh, there is a saying which says now that you don't have to always learn from only your mistakes. You can um, even learn from someone else's mistakes. So what happens is when you have a mentor and you're unclear about something, um, you, the mentor helps you through that little bit. Mm -hmm. So find a mentor. And I think that's very important to not only rural uh, women, actually all of us should have mentors. They really um, help us, um, you know, in our journey. And the second thing that um, I would like to tell uh, these girls is that, um, uh, you know, have confidence in your dreams and hold them close to your heart and they will come true. So Archana, just before we end, I'd like to ask you another very small question. I was reading that uh, you did a show last week in Mumbai with the LGBTQ models, which uh, sounds very inclusive to me and empowering uh, you know, different sections of the society. Can you please quickly tell me about that? Yes. Um, so um, yeah, last week I did the opening of the Bombay Times Fashion Week. Um, so what I did in this show um, was that uh, we had 50% uh, professional models and 50% of them were from the LGBT community. Um, so we had trans women and, um, you know, we opened our show with Lakshmi Ji. Uh, you must have heard of her. And we closed it uh, with this um, uh, a trans queen, uh, Navya. So uh, what was very, um, and what I noticed in this was because these girls generally don't get a platform and they got a platform, they gave their 500%, which was so beautiful. Um, and um, it, it, was, it was a beautiful experience. And we had about 300 community heads of the LGBT community who actually came and saw this show of ours. We had 1.8 million people who visited our page. So, you know, uh, we, it, was, it was so beautiful to be a part of this change. It was so beautiful um, that I could do this. Uh, that's wonderful, Archana. It was great hearing you. I'm sure that uh, you have touched uh, millions and millions of lives of uh, women and uh, the LGBTQ community everywhere in India. 
Um, I'm sure that everyone hearing you have been inspired as well with your story and the great work that you have been doing here.